everybody, it's Jeff Williams with Flea Fly, and I've got something really cool I want to share with you today. Um, I'm fishing with the Garmin Panoptics Live Scope next to a concrete pillar that's got some crappie and some brush around it. Now I'm fishing uh, in some, in some, the water's not real clear. I would call it kind of stained. We probably got a, about a foot and a half visibility. I'm fishing with a two and a half inch Buster Brown crappie kicker and a 3 16th ounce head. I'm fishing with the Flea Fly Micro Braid and six pound test. Um, I've got a Wahali spinning reel BRS uh, one, uh, 10 size spinning reel, a Wahali six foot six uh, spinning rod. So what we've got here is we've got our bridge piling that's over here to my right. I've got my Panoptics uh, live scope transducer mounted right here, and it's shining like this, y'all. Uh, it's not a round cone. It's shining across the front of the boat. It's shining directly down from this arrow, so my crappie are from this arrow to the right. Now, this is a little bit of a brush pile right here, and there's some suspended crappie. A little bit of there's been a little bit of bait swimming in and out right here, but I'm gonna drop my crappie kicker down there and see if I can get bit. See if you can see it go down. There she goes. Okay, I'm in the brush right there. See if I can get me. There was a hit right there. One come up out of there and hit it. I'm gonna check my bait. It looks good. I'm gonna get it right back down in there. it over a little bit to get a little bit closer to where those fish are and see if I can hold this kicker right there there's one come there he is right there oh nice nice yeah. black crappie okay so um, anyway We've sat here, we've caught three or four fish. I said, you know what? I need to do a video on this. I need to show everybody how these crappie are coming out of this brush pile. One of the tips I have for y'all is during floods, a lot of times these pilings have brush that gets hung up on them and it sinks. We've got pilings around, or we've got brush around all these pilings right here. This is the first one that we've stopped and fished today, and you can do the same thing. So again, I was using a two and a half inch crappie kicker. One of the keys to using these baits is to not to do too much with it. As you've seen, I dropped it straight into the wood. I left it horizontal. The big eye jig head and the crappie kicker are, are balanced perfectly, and, and you can't keep the tail still on a crappie kicker. So as soon as you put it down there, you hold it still, and, and that tail's moving. Let's throw him in the live well. Let's see if I can do it again. Okay, let's go over this one more time. Suspended croppers, crappie in wood, four feet from the center of my cone okay so if you look right here I'm about four feet from my transducer so let's go back up here it's going down right now and let's see if I can maybe catch that suspended crop right there see my jig moving right there it's right by that fish the biggest fish there he is you just caught him caught one of them right there that's not a keeper but that's how Live scope can help you catch fish. If you're not utilizing this technology um, and learning how to use it, you you know you're really missing out. Um, I was a little late getting on the bandwagon, but now that I've got it, I've built a portable unit right here that I can take on docks. I can take on somebody else's boat. I can use on this boat, 
and uh, this is a seven inch unit and I've got my live scope uh, GLS 10 transducer mounted inside there and I've got this held on here with the magnet and I can use it on docks or I can use it on my boat so John's dying to get to fishing here uh, he's helping me do this video so anyway I'm Jeff Williams with Flea Fly come see us at fleafly.com and get your crappie kickers find you a bridge piling and catch you some fish we'll see y'all later